Hey comic book fans, welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Geezers. I have in the right sitting here shotgun, my buddy Kirk. How we doing? And I'm Wild Bill the Unknown Comic. Uh, Kirk has another interesting topic for us. King Arthur. Yeah, because we were kind of talking and I like like classic characters and I'm a big uh, Arthur fan. Uh, I, you know, loved uh, Monty Python too. Search for the Holy Grail. <laughs> how, do you, how do you repeat that, right? That's a class, right? Um, the old movie Excalibur. Excalibur, you know. Um, and so we're going to talk about uh, the concept like of uh, King Arthur coming back because that was like the end of the, you know, all these things that says, you know, and English Dark is now or uh, King Arthur will return and save the kingdom and all that stuff. So... I, I brought in two series that I, I've been reading, and uh, the first one I bought off the stand back in '82. God, that's um, one, okay. That's the first one here. Yeah, and it's '82, and it deals with yeah, uh, King Arthur, King Arthur coming back uh, because the Earth is invaded by aliens. <laughs> okay, and it sounds a little far fetched, but it's actually a really good run, um, and that's the first issue. Um, so DC Comics. DC Comics, 1983. You can buy this in a prestige... Uh, like an omnibus? Yeah, okay. which is really nice. The artwork is, is, is great. Uh, the story is great. Um, it went 12 issues. That's really cool. And um, I'm assuming that's Merlin. That's behind. Merlin. By, it's got all of the... Uh, characters. All the characters, classic King Arthur characters. Okay. Uh, it's it's you know obviously taking place in the year 3000, so it's a futuristic kind of sci-fi edge to it. Okay. Um, so you liked it? I liked it. I'm going to be honest with you. I've kept the original series, as you can see, for years. Because, uh, as I said, if I bought it off the stand... It's, it's definitely cool. cool. Um, and you can get these at a reasonable price. As I said, you can buy the... The, the uh, omnibus, if you want to do that, and there's one that's like an expanded edition that like it, it's bigger than these were. So okay. I had that one too. I couldn't find it for uh, to bring it. Okay, to bring it today. But it's all right. You got but, these. these. Yeah, the, cool. the, but the original issues I figured would be pretty cool because this way you get to see all the covers. Um, and I mean, as I said, some of it's a little far fetched, you know. Uh, but you know, because all the knights are reborn as well into new characters, so it deals with like a reincarnation thing. Um, so this is what the mid '80s because these are all priced at like a dollar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was, so it wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, you know, here's Arthur uh, duking it out with Excalibur uh, with a, after a spaceship. So you know, how, how's that? <laughs> so you know, um, and check that out. You know, definitely uh, cool. You get uh, Morgan Le Fay involved too, which you know, I obviously she looks pretty good. Uh, <laughs> But um, the art here, fantastic. Got a little bit of a creepy feel, too, to it. So if you like that. Um, and uh, it, it's just, I think it, it's it's a really good uh, good series, well scripted. A little dated, but you got to think about it, 83. So you're talking almost 40, yeah, about 40 years ago. God help me, that's a long time ago. Are these double thick issues? Is that why yeah, they were bigger. They were okay. bigger. I, then I think the average, and they were also printed on uh, like prestige paper. Oh, so, so it's like magazine quality. Yeah, so got a little, got a little bit better quality. Oh, okay. Because you got to think back in this period in the early '80s, comic books were really still being printed on pretty crappy paper. Newspaper. Yeah, yeah, and um, it wasn't until a little bit later that they really started um, looking at uh, quality. And yeah, I remember said, in the '90s, early '90s, everything was had that magazine gloss yeah. to it. That paper, they yeah. did away with the newspaper. These are all done by a guy named Boland. He's a fantastic artist. He's done a lot of comics. I mean, most people recognize his stuff if you're really into it. Um, you know, again, dealing with uh, a lot of it is all based on the King Arthur that searched for the Holy Grail. Uh, you know, getting Excalibur. Uh, you know, the whole, uh, you know, betrayal of Lancelot. It's, it's all in there, but it's done in a science fiction twist. Really solid. If you like science fiction, if you like... King Arthur, if you just like Bolin. He did a great job on this art. Uh, as I said, script is fantastic. Um, and said, too, he's not always using the, the sword. You see, he's got a, a gun in this one. Um, you know. This next cover you're going to show, I'm looking forward to. This one looks really cool. You see, I can tell somebody was, uh, you know, kind of jonesing on the uh, aliens thing, too, at this point. Uh, Really, as I said, and these aren't that expensive. So again, if you if you want to invest them, I don't think they're. I think they're probably just a couple of bucks a piece, um, cool. and to totally worth getting. As I said, great. But if you if you're more like I like my stuff, just in an easy to read format, 
Get them in the, the omnibus. Um, and then the final issue. So it was a 12 issue run? 12 issue finishes it all up. So was you it, know what? Was it monthly? Monthly. Okay. Yeah, it was one of the first maxi series that were done. You know, that was just when DC was trying to do this stuff. Nowadays, they do it as it's common fair, but back then it was like they, they hadn't done a lot of this. And it, so it was able to pitch an idea and finish up a story, which I like too, because sometimes you're like, oh, you know what? Do I get off now? Am I still? So, this is not. So working. they did the story and wrapped it up in 12 issues 12. without having to drag it out and beat a dead horse. Yeah. Okay. So. What else you got? Yeah, all right. Well, this is. <laughs> so, I'm looking. This is, this is definitely where I, I went with uh, more thinking of you, Bill, actually. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. The idea is, with, too, this is, again, King Arthur coming back. But I like this plot because instead of. What? How did I get involved into this? Well, you like horror. Yes, I do. So and, do you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, we both do. And this is kind of, kind of like a horror take. Where that was more of a science fiction take on the, the yeah, King Arthur. Yeah, set in the bit. future. This one takes place today. Uh, and it's a new book. It's by Boom, uh, pr you know, print uh, publishers. Now you say new. How new? When uh, this is only up. This is still being published. There's only like like 10 issues of this out. So this um, is number one, and it's from, what, 2019? Yeah, or maybe. 20, or 2020? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, really great idea. Dealing with the same concept that uh, it's English, England's darkest hour, and Arthur's coming back. But obviously it's not... Whereas we wanted Arthur back in the other series, he's actually, Arthur is the bad guy. He's the reason everything's getting dark. So I don't want to put a lot of spoilers in because this is a new book, you know? Like okay. I, I don't, Camelot 3000, if you haven't read it right by now, it's been out for 40 years. I'm not feeling too bad. I'm spoiling a couple of things. But this, you know what? You may, you may actually have this sitting at home and you haven't gotten a chance to read it yet. So I don't want to blow it up. And Boom is the publisher? Boom is the publisher. Okay. They've done some great stuff. Okay. Um, I like some of the indie stuff. I think some of the indie stuff is actually better now than the main DC and Marvel. So um, how many of these do you have for us today? Let's we, see have, we have six of them. Are and they all consecutive? Yes. This is number one? That's number one. All right, so this uh, is number two coming up. Okay. And it also deals with like a family of kind of like monster hunters, for a better word. Oh, um, okay. So... You get the feeling they're going to trail off into different things. So this is not like a, a, a limited series. This is, you know, something good. But the first Let's see what you got here. The first six issues kind of deal. Nice. Uh, th th this is the grandmother who's who's like, uh, you know, a little bit crazy. And she's got her, her grandson involved in all this. She looks kind of evil. She's she's a good person, kind of. Um, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, she's, a, you know... As all of us, we have our good days and our bad days. Is she holding a dagger, it looks She's like? She's got one of the swords. If it's oh, Excalibur okay. or not, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to spoil anything. Um, but you know what? She's... She's actually... It's like a, a very short blade, but yeah, go ahead. So, yeah. All right, and so she's got one of the Excalibur weapons in her yeah. hands. Okay. And there's a whole talk about that there's different swords and this whole thing. That, that, uh, uh, oh, never mind. I'm... Looking through, I see the blade here. This is yeah. just the top part of the blade. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, I didn't see this part. I thought this was... It's, Something else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's not, um, It's as I said, much more horror-based, uh, more mythical horror characters. You know, you see, like, look at the, the dead knights in the back. Um, you Again, know, off the reflection off the blade. Yeah. Okay, um, now I'm with you. You know, it kind of reminded me of, uh, what is it, uh, the Blind Dead trilogy. It's an old Spanish horror movie, a zombie uh, film, which really good, too. But, okay. But uh, definitely there. Yeah. Um, and you know, again, dealing with they're they're trying to get the swords, trying to stop Arthur for coming back. Um, definitely good. Um, Question for you: sure, sure. Any comic? Any comics on that Blind Dead story you're talking no, about? No, oh. no, no. <laughs> that would be I would, awesome, yeah, huh? that would be. I would. I buy that. Be all over that. Uh, yeah, you? <laughs> you can get a box set that comes in a like a. Coffin. I have that. But all right, how many how many movies is it? Is there were there were three. Oh, the original cool. trilogy. There's supposedly like a fourth film that it influenced. Are they in Spanish? There, but you can get them in English too. Okay, I got I got the ones that do both. Okay. I got the blue. I don't have to borrow that from you. Sometime. Oh, dude, yeah, you I'm definitely absolutely. Um, and this is the the uh, the last one that you have. That so last one I've got. I've I've got like a couple of I think the next two issues on order or something. Again, really good. I, I recommend it. Um, where have where you been buying these, if you recommend it? Where are you been, comic I, shops or you buy them online? I've been buying them online. Okay. Because um, okay. that's the way I, I buy a lot of stuff these days. Or, All right. You know, I go out with you guys. Um, but, again, if you like 
Arthur Legend stuff, if you're into that kind of stuff, I, I recommend both series. But if you're more of a science fiction guy, go for the Camelot 3000. If you're more of a horror guy and you're like my, my buddy Bill here, I definitely would recommend The Once in Future. This, the Once in Future is an ongoing series, so... Um, definitely cool. And I would also look at getting the one sooner than later because I've noticed it is increasing in value. I got mine dirt cheap, but I've noticed that uh, it's going up to some places like 10 bucks. This one? That, that No. That, oh, that, this that, one. The, Oh, I'll really? be honest, I think you'll pay more for this than you will for the Camelot 3000, which is... Probably because of the story content. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I could definitely see it getting pitched for a horror movie or something. Who knows, you know. Now wow. But uh, as soon as someone even smells the, or hears the word movie next to it, it jumps. Yeah. So, crazy. But, but great stuff. Again, I'm a big fan of all those old characters. Arthur, Zorro. Robin whatever. Hood. Robin Hood. Yep. Well, so definitely recommend these. Well, Kirk, thanks for being here, well, man. My pleasure, Appreciate man. it, man. Uh... Everybody, thanks for being here on Wild Bill, saying thanks for watching Comic Book Geezers and having Kirk here show us all about King Arthur and some of the variations of it. That was definitely cool. Thanks for coming in, Kirk. Appreciate yeah, my it. Pleasure, my pleasure. I'd like to thank you all for your subscriptions, your comments, and your likes. And please click the notification bell so you can be notified about all content that we pop up on the internet there. I'm Wild Bill saying thanks for always and for Pete also. And Kirk, thanks again for being here. Yeah, I always enjoy it. Always right. a blast. Guys, take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.